let's go, let's go. You ain't getting away that easily. Come on. Oh god. Neck and neck, this is Oh, I hit a fence. Can't. My horse is almost dead. Shit, where am I going? Yeah. All right, horsey. Easy. Oh, God. Come on. I think I'm going to kill my horse. I have got you now. Come on, boy. Look at that male go. Get out of the way, coyotes. I almost went the wrong way again. Whoa. Oh, hey, we did it. Well, there. I think we did it. Did we do it? <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know... You should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Thanks, Bonnie. I'm just here I am, just chilling on a lamppost. Or a telephone wire. Marshal's available to talk to or I could go talk to Bonnie again. Well, I think Makes sense to go and chat to Bonnie since we're here. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. I you would can not take mind the reins. that. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> We're going in a wagon. Take the reins, nice. Mr. Marston. <laughs> there we go. We got there eventually. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. Coming through, you people. Me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a Ooh. rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't Whoa, watch say out. I do either. Oh, don't be so Ow. deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. It's a busy road, this one, I have to say. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry I about be like you that. Down around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Why 
Wow, why is there so many people around? You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. He kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We so are this is back. Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. I can do that. Did I just hear someone scream? I take that fella all the way to Mexico. I think Miss Largent told me the same. Let's go see the doc. How can I help you? Hello. Howdy. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Electric belts. I do need to lose weight. That'd be great. But just this, thanks. Stay away from the salt pork and tobacco. Open my satchel, okay. Got some medicine. Nice, okay. You already have full health. Did I just use medicine that I... <laughs> Hello, Bonnie. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. <laughs> She's not going to let me forget that, I don't think. Usually stagecoaches, okay. So that's like fast travel, I guess. Can rent properties. The marshal is up here, so let's go talk to him. Let's go say hello to the marshal. Poker is available to play at a number of locations. Sure. So long. Bye, New items are available to purchase from stores. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. Hey, Carla. <coughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? <laughs> Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? Hello, Jolly. I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Go on now. Put your gun down. Uh, 
You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. <laughs> and you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I was going to say, do you think everybody spat that much I'm in the West? Capture or kill Bill Williamson. It doesn't seem like the kind of place where you'd have that much saliva, if I'm honest with you. Okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Confirmed Carla chews Why, tobacco. Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Little cuss. Come on then, Marston. Follow me. Is that the Undertaker out? Hanging out outside his... Bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I don't feel like I learned much from my driving round shooting um, coyotes. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Oh, it's got to be a trap. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. What do you mean he spotted me? Can't lose that I'm waiting for my horse to turn up. Hold on. Come on. All right, let's go. Stay with him. I don't want to lose him. The one's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshall? Wow, you and say alive, that. He can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walt's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. We're not really... Riding that fast or hard. Get out of the way, goddammit. He's headed for Pleasant's house. Let's stop so we can 
get a better look. Man, I've just got some speed up. Looks like we got company, boys. I like his hat. Damn. Take cover. How do I take cover? Okay. We'll work our way up this hill. Take cover behind that wagon to your right. Arson, take that bastard behind the crate. Oh god. You're out now. You better be in peace with the Lord. Is that all you've got? Now move up to that crate. I'll cover you. Watch out for that bastard behind the rock. <laughs> I'll teach you some respect for the law. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm not the best at shooting with a controller. I forgot about that. Now get to that rock. I'll shoot you from the plate. You ain't out, Ross. You're chump. Look out. There's one behind the outhouse. Yeah, I see him. Take cover behind the outhouse. Well, thankfully, the Xbox... The Xbox and PlayStation version of this do like an auto aim thing. That'll do it. Ain't your life worth living? Guess what's left now? Try to take him alive. Oh what? Nice. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. I didn't give you as much grief as I gave GP for his spider manning, Carla. That was, uh... That was some real interesting spider manning that we saw. Someone might as well have this. But I didn't want to take the Mickey too much because I plan on spider manning at some point. I hear shooting. So over there is that? I think I see a shooting over here, but I'm not sure. I need a pair of binoculars. Can't see anybody, but I can definitely hear it. No idea, okay. Let's loot some more. <laughs> Just stand on this one and loot him. Nice. Okay. Well, I remember when I played this game the first time round. What I do remember is... Um, What I do remember is um, running up to like where there'd be in conflict and there'd be two people shooting at each other and not show it, knowing which one was good and which one was bad and just and just deciding which one to shoot. I remember that quite a lot. I can't dead eye. That's a bit disappointing. Oh, oh my god, he stopped for me and I still can't shoot him. Oh god, why wouldn't you die? Sorry about that, dude. Oh, what were you eating? 
<laughs> There's more shooting going on. Come here, horsey. Oi. I think my horse was chasing that rabbit. I can hear shooting. I think it's this way. Over here, look. Here we go. Thanks, mate. Thanks, <laughs> what was that all about? What was that all about? I retained a map. Use knowledge of the world to find the resting here. place of the treasure. Hmm. As I say, I'm not entirely sure. I took a gamble that the geezer with the with the wagon was the good guy. Ow! Why won't you die? Bloody coyotes. God, this place is rough already. Oops. this here? Oh, it's his hat and his gun. Nice. Skin this one as well. Come on. Let's get this over with. Oh, now I feel really lazy. I called you over from like a yard away. I guess we go back to the marshal then. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't try and go in this house. I wonder if there's anything in here. Nope, nothing. Great. Oh, just gonna stand on the bed. <laughs> like you do. Oh, God. How do I stop my horse? Where's the brake? Hello. My old pop. He told me about a calico queen he once knew by the name of Bad Bessie. She ran a whorehouse, and she didn't take no shit from no one. This one time some range pirates tried to run off without paying, she went after him with her whip. Poor fools didn't stand a chance. They found their bodies later, all their skin damn near stripped clean off. Oh, God. She sounds pleasant. A few more stories like that, and the time passes like nothing. only it was nothing. true, my friend. <laughs> Bye now. Bye, thanks. Thanks for the company. Um... I want to run over here because I think I saw an armadillo. <laughs> and I get distracted easily by these sorts of things. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to find it, but I definitely saw one.
and you're not wrong, Carla. The horse is the brains oh, of the operation. This is nasty. Well, that's a bit minging. Okay. I don't know where the marshal is. He must be this way somewhere. Where's that dude running to? <laughs> what the hell is happening here? Oh, there's the armadillo. I'm not that worried about who's shooting who. Look. hiding in this bush. Oh, there he goes. Look at it. I'm fascinated by armadillos apparently. Right. I, I quite like an armadillo. I'm not gonna lie. We'll do some looting of this person. Right, now let's go to the marshal. I do like that you see people just like running along. You've got no idea why they're running from someone who's shooting them. You don't know who's in the right, who's in the wrong. Someone else running up here. Oh, this is the same guy. Okay. Got a long run back to town if that's where he was. Almost back home. Five finger fillet is now available in several locations. I don't, sorry, I don't know how to stop. That's not stop. There's got to be a better way of stopping. There's more shooting happening. I wish it'd give you some kind of indication as to. Aha! This was an error. My pleasure. You can't ride through town shooting guns. Only I'm allowed to do that. Oh. Got to stop jumping on the corpses. 